Welcome back to MLG Saturday Night. Chris Puckett up in the booth with Shockwave. Great job on your first show, buddy. And, of course, Scott with Siri Gandhi. Guys, we had a great time tonight. Let's wrap it up. First matchup, Scott, what did we see? Well, we watched the domination of FB. They came in, I put them as first, and I'm very happy I did because they look extremely impressive. Final boss moving on to our winner's bracket finals, and of course, they'll be facing off against Instinct, who we just saw take down Status Quo, Chris. Yeah, well, the first two games were a little close, actually, with uh, Status Quo definitely taking the second one by a lot, but that just awakened an Instinct team that's been lying dormant all tournament, I feel like, and they just dominated those last two games. All right, so that is going to do it here for us up in the booth, but the show's not over. Let's send it down to the Old Spice Report with Julie and DMAC. Welcome to the Old Spice Report, live from Raleigh, North Carolina. I'm Julie, this is DMAC, and we are celebrating MLG's 50th event. Now, D, back in the pregame show, uh, Chris Puckett and Gandhi were talking about their favorite MLG memory. So what's yours? Uh, well, mine had to go back to 2006. We were in Dallas, and, and I was a little younger at that point, so I was a little more immature than I am now. And we were outside, we had to evacuate the building. And I was outside throwing soda bottles in the air with Pepto-Bismol inside, or, and uh, whatever it is, Mentos, I'm sorry, it was Mentos. And Sundance decided to come out and join me. It was the funnest time I ever had, first time I ever met the man. He was completely grounded, my favorite moment. Wow, who knew you could have so much fun with Mentos in a soda bottle? Okay, talking about tonight, we saw some amazing matchups. They did not disappoint. We saw a very confident final boss take on Believe the Hype and sweep them 3-0. And in our second match, we saw Instinct take on Status Quo 3-1. Uh, yeah, and when you look at final boss, they came out as confident as they ever have, and they were as good as we thought they would be. Final boss was extremely, extremely solid all the way around. And then on the other side, you look at status quo. Status quo, they came in and they put in a good matchup against Instinct. But Instinct, really being able to turn on the switch at any point, that's what you see from this Instinct squad. They've been consistent for quite some time now. Absolutely. Well, let's take a look at the bracket up until now. Now, I have to notice here, uh, Trigger's down and Straight Rippin' both lost out in round two. Was this expected at all? You know, it wasn't expected for them to leave in round two. That was quite a surprise, especially Triggers Down, because they improved a lot between tournaments. But when you look at Straight Ripping, they came out flat. You can't do that at these tournaments. And these young and up-and-coming teams, they've decided to really step up their game and give these pro teams a run for their money. I mean, I remember when I first came on the MLG scene back in Meadowlands, New Jersey in 2009, first event of the year. And... You know, these two powerhouses, they were the teams to beat. What happened? Uh, well, two things. One, the level of competition really grew as time went on. And the second thing, you know, team changes have been through, and, and it's not quite the same team. And it takes a long time. These teams, they're fairly new. You have to understand that. So they have been together for, for a long time. Straight ripping. They have quite a long ways to go. Maybe they'll get it together by the end of the season and triggers down. I think they'll bounce back tomorrow. I think Triggers Down will bounce back tomorrow. I'm going to say that. All right. And I also can't help but notice the absence of Carbon. Yeah, that's another surprise. It's surprise after surprise after surprise here in Raleigh. And, and Carbon's another one. Um, when you look at Carbon, not quite the squad. They don't have enough firepower. Not quite the squad, but yet they're made up of all-stars. Uh, you know, all-stars in their own right. You have two captains on the team, Walshi and SK. Nated can't be the only Slayer on, on his own. He just can't do it by himself. And Defy, he didn't really impress me this weekend either. They all have to step up their game. They have a chance to make it to the top eight tomorrow if they play well, but it's a long road ahead. All right, and looking forward to tomorrow, Victory X gets his wish. It's Final Boss going up against Instinct. Is it surprising to you at all that Final Boss made it this far? No, th this is what I said would happen on the bracket show. I called Final Boss for his Instinct. In fact, I saw Believe the Hype and Status Quo getting to where they did as well. But this is Final Boss's turn. When you look at what Final Boss has done in between events, they took the same team and they became a lot more fluid. They put in the practice. Ogre 2, he really wants this win. The second event MLG ever had, he took a first place finish. He would love to come to the 50th event. 
and show that he could still come with a first place finish. That's longevity at its finest. And I think he even said to me, he said 50, 51, and 52. That's what he's looking for. All right, we are going to take a quick break. When we return, we will be joined by Elamite from Instinct. Stick around. Old Spice older block of body wash is so powerful it can block VO for 16 hours. It's blocking powers as powerful as me. Yeah, it is. Who said that? Is that my left bicep? No, it was my abdominals. Ah, older block of body wash is too powerful to let this commercial in. Block. Building kick. Explosion. Ba -ba 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 power. Hello, ladies. Look at your man. Now back to me. Now back at your man. Now back to me. Sadly, he isn't me. But if he stopped using ladies' scented body wash and switched to Old Spice, he could smell like he's me. Look down. Back up. Where are you? You're on a boat with the man your man could smell like. What's in your hand? Back at me. I have it. It's an oyster with two tickets to that thing you love. Look again. The tickets are now diamonds. Anything is possible when your man smells like Old Spice and not a lady. I'm on a horse. Welcome back to the Old Spice Report. I'm Julie, he's DMAC, and we're being joined now by Elamite on Instinct. Congratulations, do you get a minute to relax or are you already looking forward to Sunday? Already looking forward to Sunday. You know, we come in to every event just looking to get first place. So, you know, everyone's just a, a roadblock, you know, a stepping stone to getting to that first place win. And now, you talk about first place and you, you did it two times this year already. But you guys don't look as confident as you have in the past. I've noticed it. I think a lot of other teams have noticed it. You saw Roy in the pregame talk about how you guys weren't as sharp. Now, looking forward to Final Boss, is it because you're scared of Final Boss tomorrow? Or is it because the competition has grown? What is it? I mean, Final Boss is a great team. We're definitely not afraid of them. We uh, unfortunately took about like a month off right before the event. With no team practice. Just We got a week before we land. And that was pretty much all the practice we had going into this event. So we got a lot of confidence back after this series now. We were playing and struggling a little bit up till now. But uh, we came out and we played pretty well. I think we're happy with how, how Do we are doing right now. resting on your laurels and taking that time off? Oh, absolutely. We were just busy, you know, people, you know, conflicts, schedule conflicts, couldn't get on to practice. But. but as soon as you put your gunners on, you were ready to go. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> now, let's, let's talk about you just beating your, your little brother, Ace, again on status quo. You've done it multiple times. What are you looking at the rest of the teams? Who's going to surprise you tomorrow, aside from just Final Boss and Instinct? Besides Final Boss and Instinct, uh, I'm looking for Status Quo to come back and you know do pretty well. Uh, I think we're just like that anti-SQ team. You know, they just can't can't get over the hump and take us down. You think your little brother just takes pity on you and, and decides to throw the game? No, he's just not as good. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Sounds like a little sibling rivalry. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow on Sunday. That's going to do it for us here at the Old Spice Report. I'm Julie. That's DMAC. Be sure to stick around. There is much more action to come on the Big Flex for Free For All coming up next. Good night.